Hi. Let us discuss a small topic of uh, it's actually part of part of it is part of India's 109 India's 109 financial instruments financial instruments Yeah what is this topic this is de recognition de recognition of financial liability de recognition of financial liability right yeah de recognition what do you mean by de recognition de recognition recognition means recording in the books of account de recognition removal 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 from balance sheet removal from balance sheet yeah so it is removal when can we remove a financial liability from the balance sheet when can we remove see this can be removed only when and only when and only when the liability is extinguished when when financial liability when a financial liability is extinguished when financial liability is extinguished how do you extinguish financial liability yeah what do you mean by ex extinguished extinguished means either it is discharged it is discharged okay discharged means what discharged means my company has paid yes we paid cash yeah we paid cash or some other assets yeah by giving some assets by giving cash we have discharged our financial liability that means i am through with my financial liability so i am no more liable i am no more liable means then remove it from the balance sheet okay or when it is cancelled cancelled it's like waived off it is like waived off okay other party has waived off or it is expired expired that means i am no more liable that time is up so that is time is up time is up and i am no more liable to any person and one more thing one more thing i created some liability because yes i am supposed to pay financial liability but law at the court of law or the law is saying that i am no more liable i am not primarily responsible for that that time also you can actually when it is you are legally you are legally released you are legally released released from primary responsibilities from primary responsibilities from primary responsibilities yeah if you are legally released from primary responsibilities okay and uh, then yes fine that's that means legally released means either court of law said court of law says or any act says any act says that you are no more liable then obviously you are supposed to de recognize that means remove the financial liability from the books of account yeah there are some small small, small points are there okay let us uh, spend few more minutes on it right say i am the company i am a limited okay i am liable to yes i am liable to i am liable to some b limited who is the b limited b limited is the lender lender or b limited is the creditor okay from that angle i am debtor from that angle i am debtor okay say example i'll pay this money okay we are paying actually we are liable liable to b limited let us say rupees some 100 100 cr something you take okay suppose a, a limited is paying a limited pays to a third party a limited pays to a third party a third party can be a trust also suppose a limited pays to third party and conveys the same intimated okay intimated intimated to whom intimated to my b company intimated to b company yeah if you say see i am paying it to third party i am paying it to trust you collected from b does it does it lead to an extinguishment does it lead to an extinguishment no exactly it does not lead to it does not lead to extinguishment extinguishment it does not lead to extinguishment okay that means do not do not do not de recognize do not de recognize 
de-recognize the financial liability. Don't de-recognize the financial liability. So then unless, 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 unless in the sense, under this circumstance, you are supposed to de-recognize the financial liability. That is one, the law says, law or court of law. Law or court of law says, is act. Like, court of law is saying, what is it saying? You pay it to third party, that means you are liable, your liability is over. If the law or court of law is saying, and, or, or, the creditor. The creditor, that means in my case, that is B limited agreed to it. B limited agreed to it. Okay. It's fine. You don't need to pay me because you paid the other party. Either they may be, they may be saying like, I will collect it from them. That's all. Okay. If you have, that means in this case, my A limited has not guaranteed. A limited has not guaranteed. A limited has not guaranteed. That means what? If B, if the third party did not pay to B limited, A limited, if the, if the condition says, or if the agreement says that A has to pay them, then again, do not de-recognize the financial liability. When are you supposed to de-recognize it? When third party says, fine, I'll take care of it now onwards. Or law says, you are no more responsible, no more liable. You pay to third party, your job is over. That's all. If law says or the creditor agrees, then yes, you are out of the financial, I mean, you are out of the responsibility from the financial liability. Then you are no more liable, no more liable to anybody. Then de-recognize the financial liability. Okay. Otherwise, suppose A has given a guarantee. If third party did not pay you, I will come and pay you. Then again, no, you, under this, if, if, if is not, if not guaranteed, then de-recognize it. Then de-recognize it. Then de-recognize. Suppose if guaranteed. Suppose if it is guaranteed. Guaranteed by whom? If it is guaranteed by A limited. If it is guaranteed by A limited, then you cannot, you cannot de-recognize. You cannot de-recognize. Then what should I do, sir? What should I do? What you pay to third party, you recognize as receivable. That is financial liability. Okay. What you paid to third party. What you paid to third party. Recognize as financial asset. Yeah, that means, say, that is in the balance sheet. Whatever you have the financial liability of 100 rupees. Now you paid it to a third party. Then you say receivable. Then you say receivable from third party. Receivable from third party, whatever the amount, X amount, whatever you have paid will be. That means you are going to continue to recognize both, that is financial asset and financial liability in this circumstance. That is one small point. Let us look at few more, one more important point. Yeah. Let us say, let us say, let us say, company A, again A limited, next situation number, next example I say, next example I say, okay. Yeah, A limited, A limited issued debentures, okay, A limited issued debentures, fine. Uh, let us say for 100 lakh, 100 lakh rupees or the debentures are issued. Okay. Assume A limited only bought shares, A, A, not debentures, A limited bought, bought, it is repurchased, repurchased, whatever they sold or issued, repurchased from the market, from the market, from the market. Okay. You bought, you bought shares by giving the cash. Okay, is this treated as extinguishment of liability? That is extinguishment of your financial liability, which is which is my debenture in the given circumstance. Is it an extinguishment? Yes. But the question is it extinguishment? Yes. Treat it as extinguishment. Even though right, treat it as extinguishment. Even though even though even though A limited, A limited is intended to resell in the market in the near future. Even though A limited is intended, intended to resell, resell in the market, in the market, in the market, in the near future, in the near future. It doesn't matter 
for the time being the minute i get back my debenture into my hand i am no more responsible to any person that's it so then you are no more responsible to any person correct na then obviously why should i keep the financial liability in my balance sheet so that's the right time to remove it from the financial statements okay yeah may you may be having correct na i and i can't recognize it as see if i don't if i don't extinguish my liability then i should recognize it as a financial asset that means my own liability one one side liability correct na one side debenture and i purchase it can i say this is investment in debenture of my own company no this is not it should not be treated correct na suppose out of 100 you purchase 20 20 debentures back deduct it and show in the financial statements only to the extent of 80 yeah you may be having an intention to resell it in the near future that is not considered for this accounting right one more word the standard is used even though you are a market maker even even a limited a limited is a market maker even a limited is a market maker what do you mean by market maker market maker in the sense it is your routine business that you will buy uh, any security buy sell buy sell and make profit that is it is uh, market maker is a firm it's a firm uh, what do they do where it buys it buys and sells securities buys and sells the securities okay sell the securities what do you say uh repeat continuously continuously yeah it's continuously or regularly whatever you say regularly regularly even under this circumstance also yes that means it is very clear that you are going to sell whatever you bought the debentures but still as on 31st march i have to tell what is my financial position as on that day i am not liable to any person so when i am not liable to any person obviously i need not hold financial liability in the balance sheet hence i am supposed to remove it from the balance sheet that is de recognize the financial liability on the balance sheet date right irrespective of your intentions to resell it after 31st march right that is the first point yeah now we are entering into the important point yeah what is that important point let us see see when do i say there is two ways of one situation number one what do i say situation number one it's just one point when you are exchanging 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 what are you exchanging i'm losing one financial liability and i'm getting another financial liability from where it is exchange between whom exchange between same those two persons only that means a gave a got a loan from b person okay same it is between a and b existing debtor existing lender okay yeah exchanging what are you exchanging exchanging financial liability with another financial liability another financial liability that means you are taking back your old debentures and you are reissuing the another set of debentures maybe with different rate and etc okay financial liability it is between whom sir between between existing existing that means same persons same debtor debtor in the sense i mean borrower i mean borrower and creditor okay creditor in the sense lender yeah it is taking place between the existing borrower and this person okay first now thing this existing is it substantial is it substantial that means is it an, is it a substantial is there is there substantial difference between the old and the new that is what exchanging this is old financial liability and with another liability means new financial liability okay now what are you supposed to check is it substantial 
the terms are substantial first of all what is substantial just wait for one minute we'll get into what is substantial how to measure it and if it is substantial what to account for then we'll decide it let's just hold for some time second situation second situation is modification 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 of what modification of terms modification of terms of original financial liability modification of terms of original financial liability okay why why are you modifying modification may be because of financial difficulties faced by the company or may be because of the financial difficulties or any other reason it may be it may be because of because of financial difficulties financial difficulties difficulties faced faced by the entity or any other reason any other reason reason actually speaking reason is actually doesn't matter fine if it doesn't the but still we would like to mention because you shouldn't like whatever the situation if this happens you know then the accounting will remain same okay yeah it is like whenever i say it is another financial lib- okay you are modifying the terms of financial liability or i say part of financial liability it doesn't matter actually everywhere wherever i say financial liability even the part of financial liability also same accounting treatment first e these two situations are happening i hope you understood this is exchanging exchanging means you are removing the full old one and you are bringing the new one second one is modification modification means you are not losing you are not getting the existing loan or existing financial liability is still with you but the terms and conditions are modified terms and conditions are modified this modification generally we will say restructuring people use the word restructuring yeah people use the word debt restructuring debt restructuring also people do use under this circumstance first question what are we supposed to ask are these are the terms are the terms terms changed substantially yeah changed substantially changed substantially so first question mark whether the terms are changed substantially what do you mean by substantially right substantially means there should be at least 10% variance okay 10% variance when you say 10% between what to what yeah 10% between what to what if you say first are this yes first let us say yes what is substantial i'll talk just a minute okay right if it is substantial what are you supposed to do treat it as that means de recognize the old one yes in case of exchange also old one is gone new one has come that means what are you supposed to do de recognize de recognize original original or old financial liability and what are you supposed to do what are you supposed to do recognize recognize new financial liability how do you do this yes we have to spend another half an hour to 45 minutes on that matter okay we'll come to it sir if it is not substantial change in the terms it is actually not a substantial change in the terms oh is it then what are you supposed to do modify existing modify existing financial liability we are not de recognizing the old we are that means no de recognition no de recognition no de recognition hope you got that means what is no crucial what is crucially substantial word is very crucial how do you decide whether it is substantial or not substantial okay right right before that is what we need to understand okay fine just stay a minute yeah when do you say 